So far, we have looked at designing control systems using root locus, which is a time domain method. You can also design control systems using a frequency domain method. The method we're going to use is with Bode plots, although later we'll also look at using Nyquist diagrams. In our frequency response method, we are going to look at systems that have the form here with negative unity feedback. And because they're always going to be in this form, we're going to do our analysis on just G. So we're going to look at the open loop plant and then based on the response of the open loop plant and knowing that we're going to put the system in unity feedback as shown here, we can do our control systems design and make some judgments about whether the system will be stable or not. There's a interesting relationship between Laplace transforms, which we're using for our time domain response, and Fourier transforms, which is the transform we're going to be using for our frequency domain response. If you look at the Laplace transform here and the Fourier transform here, you can see that for systems where nothing happens before time is in their causal systems, systems that engineers are interested in, that you can get from the Laplace transform to the Fourier transform by just making the substitution s is equal to j, the imaginary number, omega, which makes it really convenient for us because we can start with our transfer functions in s and just make the substitution s is equal to j omega and then do the frequency analysis on those systems. So a simple s to j omega transform takes us from Laplace to Fourier. In frequency domain analysis, we're going to use Bode plots as the design tool. Here's a quick review. A Bode plot shows the results of the Fourier transform, or in our case, we're taking the transfer function and substituting S for J omega. That'll give us a complex number. We'll then look for every value of omega, the frequency from zero to infinity. We will have another complex number. We'll take that number, calculate the magnitude and the phase shift, and then plot those. In the Bode plot, you have a gain plot and a phase plot, gain and phase. The gain plot, one axis is in dB decimals, and that's 20 times the log of the gain. And the frequency axis is in log base 10 of the frequency. So this is a log log plot. The phase plot shows degrees and then log base 10 of the frequency. A side note that's going to be very useful for us is because this is a log plot, when we multiply things together, it's the same as adding the logs. So we will find that when we take transfer functions and multiply them together, and then we want to look at the Bode plot, that's the same as adding the respective Bode plots together.